Hello everybody, I'm Marco Dambos and today I want to show you how to create a, a ray intersector with a matrix in Vanilla Maya. I talk about this topic in some others of my video, uh, it's not something new uh, like the video on the um, capsule, but it's a question that I receive uh, pretty often so I decided to do a focus video on it. The math behind it is very simple so the video should be not that long as well and it should be fast to, uh, very easy to understand. The question behind is we have a point We have a point and we have an aim. And point aim, we are going to create this ray that is, is aligned with the inf infinite length. We are going to create another vector, then is our point to target vector. So the next step is find the closest point, um, the closest point on our target. And to do so, we can uh, project the target point vector to aim point line and that is just like a dot product so in this way we find this point then it's the closest one when we find this point we can just find the distance between our projection and our target if the distance is less than our radius we have a hit um, and this, like I said it's very simple so nothing really complicated in this case I trigger um, a change of color when I hit it so we can see when the color change and um, the color change so let's jump in because, it's, like I say, it's just a couple of operations and it's just easy to show you in Maya. So the first thing I'm going to create is some locator. Uh, like in all my videos, I create the locator just for a visual representation because it's easier to visualize, select, and move around. But it's just like a matrix uh, transform. It don't need this. Doesn't have any particular reason uh, below that. Uh, this is our target. So point. Uh, let's increase the scale to 2, aim parent to our point, so we can move around, okay, oh, sorry, that was my mistake, let's do this one, one aim, and aim in this direction, uh, like I say, our, our matrix is actually a sphere of radius 1, or you can visualize a sphere of, uh, of radius 1, so let's create a sphere and target, this is just like, like I say, just visualization is nothing more or less than that. Okay, so now we have all the elements. Let's start to create our first two vector. Like I, like I said on the beginning of the video, we have our aim to point, uh, point to aim, a point to target. To do so, there are like a couple of approaching and I'm going to use the plus minus average this time. Uh, this time, okay. So I like to work with the word matrix. So I let's create a decompose. So we have our aim, word matrix, connect, post matrix, word matrix, connect. Okay, so now then we have our word matrix that connect to our decompose, we can get the transform translation from our point and subtract our, sorry, our aim and subtract with, on, with our point. We say subtract, so just change this one here. The same, this one we should change. And now we need to create, this is gonna be our uh, point to aim. And this one is gonna be our point to target. So let's do the same things here. So translate, translate one and this, okay. And our point translate here. There you go. So now we have our the, uh, two vectors. This uh, this our uh, vector from our point to our target. And this on our aim. Like I say, we want to have an, an array, and so we we like to normalize normalize this vector. So let's get the output input. This one is going to be no operation normalized. Uh, now then we have the two vector, uh, like I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, we need to do a dot product, so we can, can create a vector product here. It's already a dot product, so this is going to be the projection of vector A to vector B. A and B. The result of a dot product, so this is going to be is a float, is a float value, it is the length of on our vector A, this one here. Um, so yeah, so what you have to do, you need to multiply, multiply divide our vector A 
to our dot product. If you can see the dot product here, because it's a float, we have the, uh, all the three axes or X, Y, Z with the same number. Uh, and now we have our uh, closest point on to the line. Uh, let's create like, for example, I don't know, like a cube, very small cube. Here we go. And uh, we just connect to this one here on translation. Okay. Uh, it, it doesn't look correct, but actually is is working. So why the reason why we saw here is because we are just working with a vector. A vector has, a, let's say, a local space zero. So it's working on our zero value. Uh, we want to have in our workspace, or actually the same space of our point, um, our point. So what we have to do is just plus minus, get the translation of the, the positioning space of our point, and just sum it to our output here. Sum, that's correct. So we just got the output. Yeah, here you go. And now you can see we have the closest point of our, our array to our target. I can show you if I put this one on, on this axis, it's always in the center. doesn't matter where I move it because this is working. <laughs> that's it. This is the closest point of our target. So now, like we mentioned, I need to find, uh, I, need to, we, I need to compare the radius. So one way to find the radius is just get this position and plus minus the object of, of my target. But I want to do another method and I will explain why I will approach with a matrix. Um, so with a matrix mean, uh, we create a multi, uh, multi matrix and we are going to um, uh, bring this, our target projection on uh, the local space of our target. To do so, we are going to create a four by four matrix. Uh, by the way, you can use a four by four matrix. You can even use a transform. The reason why I'm, I'm going for the four by four is a couple, but like transform is always here in an outline. Of course, you can go to the display Hide in outline and you don't see it, but still like a dag node. Um, but it is a way. So you have a transform, you connect this one to the translate, and you have the workspace. Uh, other way, we can just build a matrix. So uh, four by four matrix is our uh, our, uh, our L element. We can filter for row three because we are going to set just a translation. And so we go to set for three zero, three one, and three two. So now we have a matrix and a workspace and this workspace here. Uh, so we can multiply this one, it's going to be our matrix zero, and we want to subtract to our target. So we're going to invert word inverse matrix. Here you go. So now we have a local matrix to uh, our target. This means then if we find the distance of this one, we determine, it, we, uh, we determine the where is in the space on, compared to our local. And to do so, uh, this is just like a Pythagoras, etc., etc. but the Simple way is just, you just need to compute the magnitude. Or in Maya, you can just create like a distance between. Uh, because it's a local, so the one of the two has to be zero. And we can just take the matrix sum and connect to uh, one of these matrix. So the result of this one is the distance between our local and our uh, projection one. Um, so now that we have this one, we can just, so that is the system and we can just trigger. So for example, we are showing the, D, in the, the demo then, um, I was changing the color. So let's say blank color, red and blue is fine. We can create a condition and we can say if the distance first term, okay, is less than, uh, our radius. So our radius now is one, uh, out color, out color. Sorry, R doesn't really matter which is working out. It's going to the blend. And now we need to set this one to our. Oh, let's create that. Set the material. There you go. Out RGB. This is going to be our color. Uh, so this is red because I need to invert this one. Or we can put. Uh, Greater is fine. So let's see if it's work. No, it's connected. Yeah. So this you can see now these things work. So why I did use a matrix instead? Because the matrix allows us to use the local scale of our object uh, as well. So if you see now, then I zoom in this way. 
is touching. So the difference to use the matrix instead of the plus minus is we can using uh, the scale of our object to even create a sort of shapes. And that is like, it was the base concept of back, back in the day when I built one uh, muscle system based on matrices instead of geometry. So I uh, was able to create like a multiple matrix connect to each other. And with the same, same logic, I uh, was able to determine the connect, the, the, the heating part, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the idea is this one. So you can build this one and put whatever you want, maybe in your body and find the connection with the scalp, uh, the collision with the scapula and stuff like that. Um, I mentioned the radius, so <laughs> let's come back and see what I mean. Because we decide, like, we determined here what is the length, then we want to um, uh, keep in consideration for the heating. So if I put this one on two, you can see if find the heating. So this is sort of an offset. Uh, let me show you like this. So if I get the second terms and just connect to scale, and actually we can even create an attribute here. That was radius float close select. Uh, wait, let me create on. So I created in the wrong place. Radius. Select. So now we can connect this radius to our second terms. There we go. Radius is going to be our second terms. So now we can regulate we can regulate the radius here, you see? And it hit. And this radius is still working with uh with the scale by the way. So if I scaling. Okay, that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time, Marco.